How many of us in this hall had even assumed that Quran came down to the Holy Prophet and there was no such thing as 27th of Rajab? As in, if you went to many Muslim communities today, you ask them, 27th of Rajab, what do you do? They say, we celebrate the Mi'raj, correct or no? 27th of Rajab in our mosques is the night of Mi'raj. If you were to ask someone, but why don't we celebrate the first day of the prophethood of the Prophet? Many will turn around and say, hold on a minute, I didn't really know it was the first day. If you were to tell them, okay, how about the first verses of the Quran? So I thought the first verses of the Quran was Shahr Ramadan. When Jibra'il told him, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Iqra, on the 27th of Rajab, that's when he began. If it's the 27th of Rajab, then why do I read every year, Shahr Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihil, Quran. How many of us from a young age were brought up being told, Shahr Ramadan is the month of the Quran, correct or no? Because in the Quran, Shahr Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihil, Quran, is a clear verse. The month of Ramadan, when the Quran was what? Was revealed, was descended. Another ayah, they say, hold on a minute. You're trying to tell me that Shahar Ramadan is in the month of the Quran. Then how about the verse? Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil Qadr. We sent it down on the night of Qadr. Sayyid Ammar, you're telling me 27th of Rajab, but it's saying, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil Qadr. Even further than that, how many, what three surahs do we recite on the nights of Qadr? Rum, Ankabut, and what's the third? Lukha. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. Someone here who's giving me this court case has got a very good court case. He'll say to me that on the 27th of Rajab, you said to me, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. But the Quran is saying, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Shahru Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'anu. Hudan lil nasi wa bayinati min al-huda wa al-fuqan. Is there a contradiction or is there not? This debate is one of the most important debates concerning the Quran. The difference between the inzal of the Quran and the tanzil of the Quran. And whenever I mention the word inzal, I want you to imagine something coming down. The debate between scholars about 27th Rajab and Laylatul Qadr is the horizontal vertical debate. Why? Because that debate, people started saying what? They started saying that I think there's a contradiction. If the Holy Prophet became a prophet on the 27th of Rajab and Iqra what came to him, then how is it the Quran says Shahr Ramadan? What does that mean? Because now we agree. Something has definitely happened in Shahar Ramadan. Do you agree or no? Something has definitely descended in Shahar Ramadan. We can't reject that. There's no one who can turn around and say, no, you can't say that. No, the Quran says something in Zalnaw fi Laylatul Qadr. Something has come down. But what has come down is what I'd like to examine tonight. Because many have asked the question, what came down in Laylatul Qadr? That was different from what came down on the 27th of Rajab. Laylatul Qadr, the Quran didn't come down in the physical form to the Prophet. The Quran came down to the heart of Rasulullah so that he could access it at any time he wants. This is the point. 27th of Rajab, Jibra'il comes to me and gives me verses step by step. Shahar Ramadan, Allah infuses the whole Quran into my heart. When we say Shahr Ramadan, Alladhi Unzila Fihi Al Quran, it doesn't mean the Quran I have physically. It means from Bayt Al Azza, from Kitab Maknoon to Bayt Al Azza, to who? To the Bayt Al Ma'mur, which is the heart of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. On the night of Qadr, it wasn't a physical Quran. The night of Qadr, when it says Inna Anzalna Hu Fi Laylatil. Qadr, Laylatul Qadr doesn't mean that the Quran came down on the night of Qadr. It means the whole of the Quran was revealed to his heart. To all Mu'mineen, thank you for watching. Share this video with your loved ones, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you hit the bell icon. Help us create the first educational da'wah channel spreading the message of Quran and Ahlul Bayt. Donate now. Thank you.